What's going on guys, it's Caleb, and today we're going to continue our JavaScript course with some for loops. So let's go ahead and head over to the Code Academy, and let's go ahead and click on our for loops. Now we left off on practicing for loops, so today we're going to be doing arrays and loops. And if you're new to arrays, they're pretty easy. Let's go ahead and just reset. Variables can store numbers or strings, but so far we've only been able to store one number or one string. Good thing we have an arrays. Arrays is stores list of data, can be different data types at the same time, are ordered so the position of each piece of data is fixed. And you may be like, okay, what does that all mean? For example, an array can store a string of mo, and each data slot is separated with a comma. That's important to rem remember. The Gandhi string can also be declared in the names array, along with Mendelia. We can also have different sizes, so we can pass in integers, such as 4, 6, 3, 2, 1, and 9. And all of them have a comma in between, separating them in their data structure. We can also have mixed. <coughs> so we can also combine our strings and our integers and also booleans and whatever else you want to throw in there. So our syntax is var and then our array name equals and this is an important part right here you want to have a block an open block and then you put in your variables and then you close your block. <coughs> so you're like okay that's pretty cool so what it wants us to do is make your own array called junk, put four bits of data in, first two strings, then two numbers, declare it using var, put your data around blocks, and separate each bit of data with a comma, end it with a semicolon, and use console.log to print out junk. So if we just go ahead and say var junk, and we're going to equal new array, which is you declare an array by using the blocks and it wants us to make two strings so we can say oh um, <laughs> we can say Bob and remember to put a comma and then we could say lol <laughs> and we can declare one and two and put a semicolon now we console.log junk and we want to throw in the array, or it really doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and run this. So that's correct. So we got it correct because it's console.log our array. So let's go ahead and go to the next exercise, array positions. All right, and this is really important. So let me go ahead and reset our um, console. It's nice that we can put a list of data into an array. But now we need to learn how to get access to the data inside the array. The position of things in an array is fixed. So we just need to know the array name, here it is, junk data, and the position of the data we want. And we're done. Small complication. The position or the index of each bit of data is counted started from 0, not 1. So the first element in the junk data array is 0. And I'll show you an example of that in a second. The third element in the array, Jack Data 2, is 2. Arrays have zero base indexing, so we start counting from the positions from zero. So, what it's pretty much telling you, if you think back in the, one of the very first tutorials on substrings, it's the same thing. Pretty much all programming counts by zero, it starts off by zero. So, this little string right here this would be the zero spot in the array and then this number would be the first spot in the array and then peanuts would be the third or the second spot in the array even though it's the third it's the third in our mind it's the third one because we count Eddie Murphy as one 49 as 2 and peanuts as 3 to the computer, it is only the second because everything starts off from zero when it counts. And so, the third one in the array would be 31, and it would not be four like most of us would assume. So just keep that in mind. 
whenever you go and um, try to console.log out a uh, section of an array that's not even there because you'll probably be one off more than likely most of the time. <clears throat> so print out the fourth element of the array start with figuring out how to express the fourth element is in the array then use console.log to print things out so one, 0, 1, 2, 3 3 is our fourth element so we console.log and then we do junk data and then we throw up the curly uh, or the brackets and we throw in 3 and that's telling it specifically the console.log our third element in our array which is the 31 and in our minds that's the fourth element like it wants us to print out so let's go ahead and run this and as you can see we got it correct because it printed out 31 so that's correct let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise awesome job you've learned a lot about arrays and how to access one element of an array but what if we want what if there were a hundred elements in an array for arrays a useful way to s symptomatically access every element in the array is to use a for loop how does it work let me just go ahead and reset this before we get too carried away here line three declares the array it has four elements we then start the for loop on line five we use i starts off the value at zero the for loop runs until i is less than four because cities dot length equals four and an array of cities has four elements in it see the hint for more we will increment i by one each time we loop over we will print out cities zero which is melbourne we then start the loop again, except now i is equal to 1, and it will print out cities 1, which is the second slot, and that is amen. The cities continues until i is no longer less than cities.length. Okay, so pretty much what it's saying is, in our array, remember how we start off at 0, 1, 2, 3. So, remember, 3 is a magical number. For we have a simple for loop here for i equals zero remember zero is very important because everything starts off at zero can't stress that enough i is less than cities dot length and the dot length is just like the um string method that we were um calling earlier in the um earlier function or earlier um, videos on strings but pretty much what this returns is the length of our array and the length of our array is 4 since there is 4 elements in it. Now remember the string counts from 1, 2, 3, 4, not 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So try and keep those separated in your head. And so now we're just adding i by 1 each time we loop. And what it's console.logging is I would like to visit plus a space plus cities.i. So pretty much right here is saying i is less than 4 so this is only going to be ran um, 4 times but in our minds it's only going to be ran 3 times but remember it starts from 0 so it's going to go 0 Melbourne 1 Amen 2 Helensky and 3 is New York City now there is not a fourth um, city in our city's array so therefore it would only print out up to New York City and that's why we say it's less than the cities dot length because if it was equal to cities dot length we would have a one-off error so let's go ahead and do what it wants us to ask or is ask us, asking us what to do change the element in the cities array you can put as many elements as you like run the for loop and see them all printed okay so let's just go ahead and add some new cities we can just be um, uh, I don't really know many cities. Let's see, plant city could be one. Um, Orlando is another one. Tampa, and so forth. So, since we have the cities at length, we don't ever have to change this. So we can pretty much make our cities array as long as we want, and it will always print out the right number. That's why, or in compared to instead we had if we were to have a fixed number like if we were to individually count all these say we were to say um 
Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So say it's less than six, that would print out our whole array. But say we go up and we change our array, and we forget to change our for loop. This is whenever we will come into problems with our for loop for it not printing out every city. So let's go ahead and change this back to cities dot length. Let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, it prints them all out. And oh. I'm going to add this one right. And let's see here. Tampa. Let's see. Go back to Orlando. Alright, there we go. I just had a little non parenthesis right there. Let's redo it. Okay, there we go. Now we got the Tampa and Orlando different. So that was correct. Let's go ahead and move on to loops and arrays too. And let's just reset this before we get started. <laughs> It is now time for you to write your own array and loop over the array. Remember to put commas between each element in the array, put semicolons between each bit for the loop. We suggest you use I as an interiorator. Enjoy yourself while smashing through its coding. <coughs> create an array named names, or create an array called names filled with five names. Write a for loop that prints I know someone called followed by names I. Run your code, and then five sentences should print out. So, this is fairly easy. All we have to do is say var names equals a new array, and we can just say Caleb, and we can say Bob, we can say Logan, let's see, we have three, uh, we can say Lucas, and we can say Peggy. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's our five names. Now it wants us to write a for loop that prints out I know someone called followed by their name. So we go ahead and say for, and we can make a new variable. And we, let's just say i equals zero. Remember to set it to zero. i is less than names dot length, and then i plus plus open curly brace and we can just say console oops, console uh, if I can type console.log um, and it wants us to say I know someone called space plus and then we say names and now what we're doing is we're passing in I for that's going to return the first second third fourth and so forth names so, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, it printed out all five of our names. I know someone called Caleb. I know someone called Bob, Logan, Lucas, and Peggy. So, that was correct. Um, I did this a lot faster than some of you would normally probably try and do it. Um, but yeah, just try and follow along. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, let's go ahead to the next one. And let's go ahead and just reset this. Alright. Loops and arrays often go hand in hand. So let's reverse this a little more. Or revise this a little more. Arrays contain a number of elements. Those elements are a particular order. Loops go well with arrays because the loop interiates in a predictable order. For instance, i plus equals 2 makes it go up by 2s. Write an array, <coughs> or write a for loop that finds the largest element in the array. Then log this element to the console. How do we do this? <coughs> On line 4, write an if statement inside of it. Compare the first element of the array to the variable largest. If the statement is bigger than largest, make largest equal to this element. The loop will then start counting again. You will often compare the second element of the array to the largest, and so on. You will only change the value of the variable if your current array element you are looking at is greater than the variable value. Your for loop will go through each array element, and the variable will end up with the highest value of the array. So that right there was just a lot to read. And what it wants us to do, in a nutshell, is to loop through this in array, Find out whatever spot is the largest, which is this right here. This is um, telling us what spot is largest. And then it's going to console.log our largest. 
So to write this, let's just go ahead and create a for loop. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So the for loop is for var i equals zero, the usual, and then we do i is less than array dot length i plus plus ooh i plus plus. Open this up a little bit. And then it said it wanted us to create an if statement. So if array, and then whatever spot we're at, oh, not one, but i, is greater than our largest, then what we wanted to, actually, I think it would be better if we do greater than or equal to our largest. If it's greater than or equal to our largest, open curly braces, we want to do largest equals array and then whatever spot that we're at in within the array now outside of that that's pretty much all we do for a for loop outside of the for loop is what I meant to say we just console.log our um, largest value so largest is right here and there we go so if we're reading through this in array pretty much what it's going to do <coughs> It's going to loop through our array, which is 3, 6, 2, 56, 32, 5, 89, and 32 again. And what it will do, it's going to compare the whatever slot that we are on, if it's greater than or equal to the largest number, which right now largest is set to 0. If it's greater than or equal to the largest number, we're going to print out the largest number. So say that if we were on slot number zero and let's see that would be three so if three is greater than zero which it is it's going to say the the largest variable equals three and so now this would be set to three and it's just going to keep looping over and over and so forth so what we should get out is 89 so let's go ahead and run this and we got it correct because we got 89 in our console. So let's go ahead and go on to the next. So <clears throat> you've done an awesome job. <clears throat> Loops are always a little tricky when you first meet them, but they are worth learning because they are really useful. What now? You have so many useful tricks up your sleeve. If else statements, functions, for loops, booleans, arrays, variables, and etc. The best way to get better at programming is to use what you have learned and build something. Hit run to finish. Okay guys, so that was pretty much the end of this um, for loops section. Uh, stay tuned for the next section, which is while loops, which are really fun and interesting. If you like the video guys and this helps you out a lot, make sure to um, like it up. That also helps me out a lot. Uh, favorite and subscribe for more and future videos. And just go out and start building stuff. You know, you've already got a decent amount of JavaScript learned. And if you're doing the um, projects, you should be building some pretty cool projects. Alright guys, until the next video, I'll see you later.